scissors forgotten in somebody's body, a foot-long retractor overlooked in somebody else's chest. Every year, about 1,500 people in the U.S. have medical equipment left in them after surgery. About two-thirds of those objects, sponges. Which is why Loyola University Medical Center is doing something about it. It is the first hospital in the Midwest to use new technology to track sponges before and after surgery. It is extremely simple. Simple, yet significant. The way the new system works, all sponges are barcoded and scanned before and after the procedure. Five. 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 Duplicate. If one's missing, this device alerts doctors and nurses what kind of sponge it was and when it was scanned in. It may take an extra minute. But what's an extra minute in a human life? Let's do what's right. Scott Ross Kelly wishes the procedure to stop his sleep apnea was done correctly. Scott had surgery at a different hospital to insert a titanium peg in his jaw. But a month and a half later, he was still in pain. I had swelling and I would have blood blisters that would form underneath the tongue. When he went to an oral surgeon, they found the problem. A two-inch suture had been mistakenly left and behind. All I can say is once they took that out, I never had the problem again. The procedure is uh, writing on a hernia. Back at Loyola, Dr. John Santanello hopes his patients never have any problems. He thinks the new sponge system is a great idea. It's just one more level of, of insurance that we can do to say we're doing everything possible to limit those, uh, those complications. Dr. Santanello takes it so seriously, he actually uses a surgical safety checklist to confirm every patient's information. We're not God. No one's 100% 100% of the time. Which is why Scott has a message for other patients. He wants them to know if something doesn't feel right, there's no wrong time to speak up. Most of us, we make mistakes in our job, and uh, nobody's life is at stake. But uh, doctors don't have that luxury. Using a simple checklist is benefiting hospitals and patients across the country. According to the New England Journal of Medicine, participating operating rooms are reporting complications down a third and inpatient deaths following major surgery down 40%. Margaret Shortridge, Fox Chicago News.